All right, here's the problem. You load the page, you get no content, and you get an error message that says unexpected end of input. The way I ended up solving this problem is to do a view page source, grab all of the code, and then drop it in to an HTML file, which is right here, test HTML. Just paste it in there. And then bring that page up. Just drop that page into your URL and load it. So now you don't have to fool with anything else. You know the problem is in that code and all you've got to do is isolate where it is. And what I ended up finding is these comments, if they were just prefaced with slash slash and nothing at the end, it caused JavaScript um, when it was minified to fail. I also found something as simple as a semicolon missed when minified caused JavaScript to fail and the whole page not to load. And this historically has not been the case. So in this particular plugin, I am loading the JavaScript uh, after everything else, and I don't know if that plays into it or not, but this is definitely what solved the problem. And let me give you an example of how this works what doesn't work. So I've got this what we do page in, uh, in the website Forest Mowing and I'm going to update save what's in there and that's going to create a cache version of the page which is something we use commonly. Uh, and I'm going to load that right here and you notice that it fails. We get this unexpected uh, end of input. This is not our test page this is a real-world test. So why is that happening? Okay, we're going to go back over to the code. And I have uh, purposely commented this out with the two slashes. And I'm simply going to change that to this. And we'll reload. We're going to save the same page. We're going to open it in a different browser so we can just uh, take advantage of the caching system and we see it loads fine. That error is unrelated. That's a purposefully inserted error. Everything looks like it's supposed to. We come back over to the code. We know we got that problem solved. We're going to come down here to this and just remove a single semicolon. I'm now going to save that. Come back over, save my page, which will build the cache page. I reload the page and I get nothing at all. Uh, if I look at the console, a little different error, unexpected identifier, real text height, but if I dig into that, uh, I'm just going to put a colon there. You'll notice that real text height, the next thing is right here, that's the real text height it's talking about, so what it's doing, it's stringing this together with this because the semicolon is missing. So the minification process um, is very particular about uh, how this JavaScript is commented. Uh, so I'm now going to save the page and reload it, and all is well. So both of those uh, we can see cause the same problem. And uh, if you're getting these types of error messages and you're minifying your JavaScript, this is definitely something that you want to take a look at. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.